हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एवरीथिंग मटलर जी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू सीरीज हंड्रेड डेज हंड्रेड कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड विद दिस सीरीज वी आर ऑलवेज देयर विद यू विद द नेक्स्ट हंड्रेड डेज ब्रिंगिंग यू ईच डे ए न्यू वीडियो हेल्पिंग यू फॉर गेट एम टी सो टुडे इज द डे वन एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द पोअर बैग्स डायग्राम सो बेसिकली वॉट इज दिस पोअर बैग्स डायग्राम और दिस पोअर बैग्स डायग्राम इज बेसिकली ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज your potential ph diagrams so in these particular potential ph diagrams it's, it's very simple so you just take the electrochemical potential on the y axis and your ph value on the x axis and you plot the you know uh, the various relationships and what is ph so ph is basically nothing but minus log of H plus ion concentration. Okay, so how can we relate the potential and the pH value? So firstly, it is very very important in the areas like corrosion, electrometallurgy, and of course even hydrometallurgy because we are talking about pH values or hydrogen ion concentration, right? So you can say these diagrams are one kind of phase stability diagrams in terms of electrochemistry. Okay, so these diagrams will help you to see which phase. is stable based on the values of e and ph so now let's take a quick example and see how these ph diagrams are formed basically the main driving force okay you know the main driving criteria for this pore bags diagram formation is nothing but r nernst equation so we already know what is nernst equation so if you want to calculate the potential of a cell it is equal to the standard potential minus R T by N F into L N of product activity by reactants activity. Okay, we already know this. So basically, using this particular criteria or equation, we'll try to relate E and P H. From where we are getting P H? If we are having H plus ions in my reaction, we'll be bringing it here. How? So let's take a small example. Okay. So Let's take an example, something like this, which has NaOH twice plus 2H plus. Okay, of course, it's combining with two electrons. It's a half reaction. Okay, and it's combining and forming Ni plus H2O, and obviously you have 2H2O over here. Okay, so uh, let me take this particular equation. So quickly, if you want to calculate this particular part, okay, so that's nothing but Okay, otherwise I'll write down the complete equation. Not minus R T by N F into L N of this is N I into H two O square divided by N I O H twice into H plus concentration square. Okay, so this is what uh, you, we basically get. Okay, uh, using the activities of product and reactants. But we already, uh, by looking at the equation, we must know that these values are all equal to one because we are taking in a standard or pure state. So what we are left with? We are left with E equal to E naught minus R T. So R is gas constant, T is temperature at which we are talking about N is the electrons the valence electrons that are involved in this particular reaction so here we have two okay so yeah i'm just leaving it like this and this we are getting it as ln of h plus power minus 2 right so this is something which i got so if i just quickly take okay so if you just write it down and convert this part over here this will be equal to what e not minus if i consider at room temperature that is 25 degrees and faraday's number is 96500 uh, you will be getting something like this 0.059 into log h plus okay of course there will be divided by 2 that is n and there is this power over here which we have cancelled okay and of course we have minus of minus will be getting plus so if you just change it off you will be left with e not minus 0.059 into pH. So what we did is we just quickly brought this pH value minus log H plus concentration into our particular equation. So what is this thing? So this particular equation is quite familiar for us. This is looking something less y equal to m x plus c. 
right so here we have a slope of minus 0 0.059 so okay something like this will be my graph okay and what is this particular intercept this is nothing but my e naught that is my standard potential okay cell potential and the slope of this particular equation is minus 0 0.059 so this is how basically you try to plot between ph and e naught of course there are many other reactions that will be taking place in nickel hydrogen system okay so this is not a complete you know complete uh, diagram you usually you have many other phases okay so this is an example which i brought to you here in order to explain how these pour bags diagrams are formed and of course uh, this will be your nickel and this will be your nickel oh twice okay so basically if my ph is increasing according to if i take some combination over here then my state will be NaOH twice and if i take some combination over here then my stable phase will be nickel right so this is about pour bags diagram now quickly i want to take a small example okay uh, from gate 2017 question so this particular question which i am taking over here is gate 2017 okay so the question goes like this the pour bags plot we have to uh, know for this particular equation that is al plus 3 plus 2 h2o gives rise to al o2 plus plus 4 h plus so this is the equation and they are asking my Power backs plot for this particular equation. So quickly, we know uh, that delta G is equal to minus R T L N K. Okay, just want to remind you why. I'll just discuss that. So if you observe here, what is the N for this particular equation? What is N? N is nothing but the electrons that are transferring from my reactants to my products or the valence number of electrons. But here, if you see, I have aluminum plus three in reactants also, and also I have aluminum plus three in my product. I have H plus in reactant and also I have H plus in my product. So, my N value is a big 0. So, how to do it? How to calculate? How to relate in these particular uh, relations? So, it is easy. So, that is where this particular equation will come in. Okay. So, delta G equal to minus RT LNK. We all know it. So, just take LNK equal to minus delta G naught of course. We are considering standard divided by RT. Okay, using standard free energies okay of reactants and products, calculate it and you will get this value which is a constant. Okay. Of course, K is a you know uh, equilibrium constant itself, which is a constant value. So quickly, what is K from this reaction? It is nothing but my Al O2 plus ion activity or concentration into H plus power 4 divided by L plus 3 into H2 1 okay whole square okay so here also if you see this will be my 1 so my k will be what k will be equal to oh of course I will just directly apply my ln so ln k will be ln of LO2 plus plus 4 times ln of H plus divided by Oh, sorry, it will be minus, right? So, I am directly applying. So, this will be minus ln of L plus 3. Okay, this is what you basically have, right? So, if you see here, okay, so just quickly change it over here. You have um, 4 ln H plus here. So, just take on the other side. This will be minus 4 ln of, okay, I will just convert log for everything because you know the conversion factor is 2.303 which we can cancel on the both sides right so minus 4 log h plus equal to ln of alo2 plus minus uh, of course uh, this, this is log we have already converted so this is log of al plus 3 and i am taking this that side minus ln of k right so this is what we have over here now so carefully observe this equation so if you also take this minus 4 on the other side then this will be divided by 4 right now what is this particular thing this is my ph equal to this thing is a value this thing is a number value this thing is a numerical value the whole rhs is a numerical value or 
a constant value. So, we have pH equal to constant. This is at our known concentration. Let's say I know my ALO2 plus Al plus 3 and also my equilibrium constants. So, now you can see that this particular reaction which we have over here, the pH is independent of E. Okay. So, how will my graph look like? So, usually this is my E versus pH, correct? So, what is this pH equal to constant some k? Then it is nothing but x equal to k, which is something parallel to y axis. Okay, so this is my pH equal to k. Okay, so this is a two mark question which was already asked in gate 2017. So I hope with this video your basic idea of pore bags diagram has been cleared. I hope you like and support my series of 100 days 100 concepts. Please stay tuned to Everything Metallurgy YouTube channels, Instagram and we have launched our website also where we are releasing our video courses as well as our test series. So already video courses have been like you know hugely impacted many people. So already test series also have been there. So please visit our website okay so which you can see here. You can always visit our website and go check out the details and contact us if you have any queries. Thank you guys. We'll meet you with a new video tomorrow. Thank you. Good night.